I want to say on behalf of the diocese this is a great occasion for us. If you look on the inside you will see that this translation, this Creole translation of the uh, Bible has been made possible by the Bible Society, the Wycliffe Bible Translators, One Book and the Anglican Diocese of North Queensland. And in particular, I want to acknowledge the Retnet's bequest and Father Retnet, who was very keen that the scriptures be in a language that the people could understand. It's been a wonderful working cooperation and there's been many people like Michael and Charlotte and Barbara and I won't name everybody who's put a lot of work uh, into making this happen. And so it's a great joy for Bishop Marbo and I to not only bless these Bibles but to also launch it. And I actually think when I first saw this a little while ago, it's a very attractive, durable and usable book at the book point of view. Of course, I'll get to the message in a moment. And that's taken a lot of work. And as you know, with any translation, checking, double checking, speaking with the people to make sure that the meaning is what it is saying and not what we want it to say, that it's true to the word of God. Psalm 119, verse 105. Your word is a lantern for my feet, a light to my path. And today we rejoice that many Torres Strait Islanders have the word of God accessible to them. Now shortly, how shortly, Michael, this boat, we're having a boat about 45 feet long. Yeah, maybe two months. Two months is going to sail up the coast with this Bible and uh, make it available to people uh, and so on. So that will also be a time of great joy. So my dear friends, let us pray. Dear Lord, we pray for all who translate your holy word into native languages for your people to know your word and also to be able to study it, learn from it and above all to grow in it. We ask Lord for your blessing upon the boat that will come up this east coast and go to the Torres Strait with your holy word. Dear Lord, as we remember and give thanks for the London Missionary Society who brought your word to Darnley Island on that 1st of July 1871, we pray that this boat journey will continue to bring your living word to us and to your people. And so now we bless these Bibles in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And Bishop Marbo and I, with great joy, launch this holy word. Adira Wurkab, Babira, Weremira, Lamazogora, 
Amen. Amen. My dear friends, to God be the glory. Amen. Amen.